people to uh, text message the species of fish that they were considering of buying, and they would get back information from a database that is maintained by a, a group of third-party scientists, independent scientists, regarding the current state of the sustainability of that species and its, and its status in terms of in, it, uh, whether it's endangered or on the verge of being an endangered species, or whether it's, uh, it's uh, or if it has a sustainable stock. Um, and uh, the response, uh, the response uh, to that uh, application was enormous. Uh, uh, hit rates took off immediately and have been growing year over year. They've started getting international hits, so people from other countries texting to South Africa to get this information because they'd heard about the service. You can see how if that expands to other products on the basis of easily identifying those products through scanning uh, of mobiles, how that would be a very effective means of providing f uh, very rapid feedback and, and actually influence consumer behavior for the better. I just have a, a follow-up question to you, um, Tony, since you mentioned some of the not only data management challenges but also policy challenges, and uh, you described the transition from IPv4 to IPv6 and uh, network neutrality, and how do you think we will move forward with the Internet of Things, not trying to see those as impediments of the current network going forward? Do you have any suggestions? Well, I, I think in terms of uh, empowering uh, user participation in the process of, of building the Internet of Things, I think that uh, building on uh, building on sort of an open an open architecture is the the best way to go, and uh, the current IP ba uh, IP address based system is is already designed to be openly accessible to anyone, and the standards are open and non proprietary. Um, you know, I acknowledge uh, Wolfgang's comments around. And, and other uh, panelists mentioning that there's a lot of different ways we could build the Internet of Things. It could be a, an intranet, it could be based on a non-IP-based system and that. But if we want to ensure user participation and open innovation around the Internet of Things, I think we should stick with open standards. And I think that, um, you know, an, effective, an, an IPv6 is the way to expand the address space to allow for the expansion of, of the Internet to include the Internet of Things. And I think that that's the way to go for that reason. Thank you. I uh, would um, like to open now um, um, the floor and uh, take any questions that you may have. Uh, so the, there is a microphone at the back, uh, so please uh, raise your hand uh, if you have any questions for uh, one of our panelists. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Bernard Benamou, what does he think about um, kids who go to nightclubs and try to show off and do not like to carry with them wallets? But this could lead to very unsettling realities. And uh, the idea that in some cases, for example, uh, for the soldiers in a, in a war, they can be uh, traced and uh, um, surgically uh, operated because they are have their own RFID chips, that can be a necessity, a dire and, s and sad reality. But uh, imagining that people are willingly putting RFID chips under the skin for uh, such issues like uh, entering a nightclub, that's not exactly the way I see it. But basically, uh, the protection we are trying to build for the citizens will have to apply whatever the circumstances are. So maybe one day people will have to, to be sure that they can pay and they can enter places because they have their own RFID chips on themselves or on a card they are carrying, whatever. And then all the mechanisms, the political mechanisms and the political protection of the citizens and especially in Europe will have to be uh, included whatever the transaction is. But Bernard, the nightmare is already a reality, uh, as uh, Veryship is a, is a company which is active now in Colombia, and people, you know, who fear to become, um, you know, hijacked, they have it under the skin to be protected against uh, this form of hijacking. So I don't know where, the, where this will go. That's why we need more discussion. And there was uh, one. Um, um, uh, discussant here. He has already the microphone, the floor is yours. Could you introduce yourself also? Working? Yeah. 
Yeah, my name is Don McLean. I'm an associate with uh, Tony.